Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Today, we're going to set up automatic reply for recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. So that is our task today. Well, after a few research, I noticed that this is not possible. Uh, why? I think um, Exchange in Exchange Server 2019, uh, it's more like a user centralized um, thing. So I mean, it's more like a, you you don't want, as an admin you don't want to go into all of your users, especially if you have like ten thousand users and keep going into their email and start setting the uh, out of office reply for them. So let's take a look. How if you wanted to do it. I don't see any function right here that can allow you to set a uh, out of office reply for a recipient or mailbox. It should be like in the mailbox features, but I couldn't find that information there when I was looking into it. Although you can make this happen using this PowerShell command, but I don't see any reason why <laughs> you really wanted to to do that, just in case somebody asks you if you can do that from the Exchange Admin Center. It's kind of, uh, well, don't let me say impossible. Maybe there's a way, if you find it out, please let me know. But you can use this uh, PowerShell command to actually set the mailbox identity and auto reply message for this user. Um, each user can actually set their own uh, out of office reply through their own email clients such as Outlook or maybe Outlook Web Access, which is famously known as OWA. So, but if you need to do this at the admin level across multiple accounts, like I mentioned earlier, you can use the PowerShell method, which is this one. So, with that being said, um, if you know how to do it from this uh, portal, you can let me know, but as out of now that I'm recording this video, it's kind of impossible to do it from the from the Exchange Admin Center. Just in case you you get this as a test, that can you set a out of office reply for a mail recipient in the Exchange Admin? At the moment, no, but you can use PowerShell. That's all the information I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.